Welcome to the Weekly. In this week's edition, we'll see how the Sick and Out sports teams did last weekend in the SIG Sports Report. We'll also unveil our Play of the Week. But first, let's check out what's going on this week in Jaguar Country. Homecoming tickets are currently on sale for Saturday's dance. Be sure to see a student council member during lunch to purchase your ticket for a night of fun under the stars. Don't forget, tickets cost a little more at the door, so buy yours in advance to save. Going to the homecoming dance but aren't sure what to wear? Siganella Middle High School has a number of dresses that can be borrowed so you can dance the night away in style. Check with Ms. Schlechter to see what's available from now until Friday afternoon. Don't forget to keep dressing up during Spirit Week. The fun started on Monday with Nighty Night Attire, Tuesday with Be A Star, Wednesday with Blackout, Thursday Star Cross Twins, and Friday is Class Spirit Colors. Freshmen wear black, sophomores purple, juniors white, and seniors blue. Middle school students, we didn't forget about you. Be sure to wear yellow and blue to the pep assembly this Friday. Looking to serve up some school spirit? You won't have to wait much longer to catch our teams in action. The volleyball teams will be playing at home this weekend with our girls team taking on Naples at four in the Jag, followed by the boys versus Naples at 5.30, and the girls again at seven against Marymount. The boys will also be playing against Naples on Saturday at 10. Tennis takes on Spang Dalham this weekend starting at 3.30 on Friday, then again at 9 on Saturday. You can also cheer on the cross-country team starting at 9 on the school track. While you're down there, check out the flag football scrimmage at 11. Here's to see how our team did last weekend? Then check out this week's SIG Sports Report with CJ. CJ? Thanks, Fabi. We start this week's sports report with cross-country, who headed up to Aviano last weekend. Kaylee, Molly, Layla, and Kayla qualified for the European Championships. The ladies play second behind Naples in the five-team invite Saturday. They beat Vicenza, Aviano, and AOSR. Most of the team also shattered their previous personal records. From the course to the courts, we move on to the tennis squad. The boys team dropped their matches against Marymount, while the girls team went 2-1. Charlize won both her singles and doubles matches. The football team traveled north of the Alps to take on Spangalum. Although the Jaguars scored 33 points, it wasn't enough as the Sentinels overpowered the Jags for the win. Drake led the Jaguars offense with 83 yards rushing with two touchdowns and 47 yards passing while tossing two touchdowns. Jaden also had 47 yards rushing with three touchdowns and 45 yards receiving, including another touchdown. On defense, John led the squad with five tackles while Ricardo and Braden each had four. The Jag was the site of nearly seven hours of volleyball action this past week. In the first match, the girls defeated Bahrain 3-0 before taking on AOSR on the second match of the day. After the girls lost the first two sets, they came back to win the next three, defeating Rome 15-12 in the fifth set to win the match. Leaders for Siganella on the weekend were Fabiola with 14 kills and 8 aces, while Isabel served up 8 aces and 9 kills. The boys volleyball team also swept the weekend after topping Bahrain on Friday night. The boys took on AOSR Saturday afternoon. The Jaguars won the rematch of the last year's championship game, 3-0. CJ had 22 kills and Andrew added 13. Ollie dished out 74 assists while Temin had 19 digs and 5 aces. And our play of the week comes from the boys game against Bahrain. In volleyball, there's a rare play called the pancake. When a player places their hand flat on the court while the ball bounces off the top of the hand, this is only done in an emergency situation and is rarely pulled off. Tevin Mikolaj collaborated for the elusive double stack of pancakes with two pancakes in a row. Congrats, fellas, for pulling off the feet and earning our play of the week. Now, back to you, Fabiola. Fabi? Thanks, CJ, and no syrup needed on those pancakes. Those are pretty sweet already. And that's a wrap-up for the weekly. Have a great homecoming weekend.